Welcome to this Haiku screencast and this is the second screencast of my series programming in Haiku and this time we will really start programming in Haiku with a simple hello world application. If you missed the first tutorial, in the first tutorial I'll explain you to you how to just simply installing the programming editor that we will use called Paladin which uh, also allows you to manage your source code basically and I will show you how you can find some resources in the bbook and how you can search for other basic C and C++ tutorials. So this is basically a uh, tutorial uh, created for JAP programmers, for basic programmers, for Python programmers who have some experience in uh, programming languages and programming in Haiku as well and I, yeah, I will try to explain to you um, how to uh, write some basic applications in the C++ API from Haiku, so native Haiku applications basically. So the first thing that I will do right now before I start programming is open up the bbook on one desktop because this is uh, how I work basically just opening up the bbook on one desktop and then opening up my programming editor on another desktop like this one here and I will open up Paladin here by going to applications Paladin and yeah, we will basically start off uh, from where we left uh, the last time uh, when we created a hello world um, yeah, default main window uh, empty window um, project I will open this one up here and it will show you the um, two source files that we have in there and I will yeah, try to explain to you what those source files basically are. We go to the app cpp file and I will try to explain to you a little bit of theory. First of all, the, as you can see here, there's an h file, a header file that's included and a second header file. Header files are basically files where you um, define or declare um, variables, where you declare methods and constructors and so on. And what all those other uh, things are, this is basically an index file, it's just like an index file, so that you can see if you have uh, thousands of lines of codes and you have uh, very big um, logical um, programming stuff in your different um, yeah, different methods and so on. You in the header file you will see those headers, those uh, only the just like yeah, only the headers basically, only the titles of your methods, of your um, variables that you are using and so on. So this can become some handy and it's because the file is a lot smaller than of course your thousand lines of code that you've written in your normal C++ file. But I will come back to the header files later again and I will show you some of the tricks there. First of all we will go into the this line here. This is basically a constructor line for constructing a new B application. As you can see it's called app, app and it's creating a new B application with um, a string in here and this string in here what you basically need to know about this string is that it's basically um, and uh, just it just looks like a mime type because it's used for also for mime types if you want to set some um, text files some special files to open up with your application you can set them with the mime types and you can set them to open up with the this mime type here but this uh, string is also used for communication between different applications so this is basically an identifier in the Haiku system or in the BOS system uh, for your application. It should be an um, unique identifier so that uh, if you would send or another application uh, if you have the ability that another application can send you data that it will send the data only to you to your application and not other applications so it should be a un unique uh, string in here and we will leave it to the default one here and let's go then to our body of our uh, so this because this here was the header and this now in this uh, 
brackets is our body of our um, header basically so of our app basically and there we can write our code or there th this is the place where we write our main code in and as you can see here we in the first line we are creating a new instance of the uh, type main window which is uh, basically the main window CPP that we have here and we're creating a new instance called main win and by calling the constructor of the main window which we will uh, do by just uh, typing in the new keyword and then the constructor name of our main window which is also obviously called main window uh, this is I think a normal stuff uh, for those of you who have uh, some experience in Java and uh, some other object-oriented um, languages. And then we will call the main window object and we will call a method in the main window object called show, as you can see here, without any parameters in there. And yeah, methods are basically called by this yeah, little uh, arrow here. So this basically consists of a minus sign and a greater uh, than sign. So this is basically the indicator that you are now executing or, or calling a method from uh, within an uh, object. And this is basically the main win object, which is basically, as you can see here, a new instance of the main window. A little bit confusing perhaps for some of you, but uh, now let's go on. Um, we have our int main. This is also very important. Every C++ application needs an int main or void main so needs a main application a main section and this is basically our main section in here and here we are creating a new instance of our own app so of our own uh, app app <laughs> so uh, this is a basic way as you can see the uh, the basic command line just like in here like creating a new main window we are here creating a new instance of our app and we are just then calling the uh, run function for the app so that our app can run. And yeah, we have some uh, other options in here, uh, which uh, might be very interesting for you if you want to dig into the theory about C, C++ uh, and uh, return uh, values and so on, and, and why you have to use them and so on. But I want to, I don't want to dig into those uh, theoretically uh, perhaps interesting stuff, but uh, I want to dig into the more uh, uh, action uh, kind of stuff where we can create or where we will create a new uh, window and I want to explain the interesting parts especially for the Jap users of you. So let me open up the main window CPP. As you can see here we have our main window CPP file and what's interesting about this is that uh, it does uh, have two includes here and they are somehow separated. As you can see we have the normal include with our normal quotes which will include a header file which is basically in our project directory and it then it has an include with this uh, greater than and less uh, lesser than or not so great as then <laughs> um, marks here or symbols here which basically define that we are loading this this header file application header file from the system libraries basically so it's not n nothing that we ship with our application that we created and, and, and a header file that we created but it is a header file that's uh, shipped within the system another cool thing that we can see here is uh, then the main window that we will create and you see a block uh, message received which looks very similar to what you have uh, saw or might saw in jab where you are where you have this little uh, also switch case uh, uh, stuff where you can just simply ask for message received or, or you wait for a message to receive and then can just execute an, a command especially useful if you click a button then a message will pop up here in here and you can then just uh, um, just like uh, use a switch case statement to um, to catch this message and then to execute something then you have uh, the quit requested which will just simply um, post a message to the B app um, that we re request a quit that our application requests 
to qu to quit basically, and then um, the application quits. And the interesting part here is, as you can see, th these are mainly all headers. And if you go to our header file of the main window CPP, so the main window header, you can do this by going up to the H menu here and just going and clicking on main window H. Or you can use a shortcut, a um, uh, keyboard shortcut called Alt Tab, and it will open up the appropriate uh, header file for your main window CPP. As you can see here, there are some other uh, stuff included here. Another system library which is included is the window library, so that you can create a big window object, basically. And you can see this also in uh, the uh, bbook. If you go to the bbook, and let me go to the interface kit, because those uh, this is the um, library, basically, for all our interface stuff. And there we have, in the on the bottom here, the B window. Uh, class, and as you can see here, uh, the B window class it's declared in the interface window H, and if, uh, as you can see, we are only writing the window H here, because we know it's a system library, it will search uh, its way through, and it will find that it is in the interface directory or subdirectory, and then will load automatically the window H file. And as you can see here, we see the constructor of the B window file. We um, so basically what we have to type in to construct a new bin window. As you can see we have a BRAC, we have a constant chart title, window type, uh, flags and workspaces. And if we go to our source code, you can see basically the same. Uh, first of all, in our uh, header file, you can see of course we have public variables. So public variables are something like uh, variables that are accessible by other uh, classes basically another class where uh, is uh, for example the app class and the app class needs to access for example the main window uh, class uh, uh, the main window uh, constructor method basically to construct a new main, main window therefore it is in the public section in here uh, as well as message received and quit requested uh, if we want to create uh, basically um, variables that are local we need to define them here in the private uh, section I will come to this later on so as you can see here we have our B window and as you can see this is our constructor basically for, for the B window and uh, this are these are the comments commands to construct our B window and if you go to the B book you can see this is basically the, sh the same we have the first option that we have to give the B window is the B rect frame uh, as you can see here, we have the BRECT frame that we are giving, uh, and we are of course using the X and Y for the top left corner, and the X and Y for the uh, bottom right corner in here. So the same as we did, uh, as we would do in JAB. Then we're giving the window a title, the main window. If we execute this, you can see that in the window title, there you can see it's standing there, the main window. Oh, it's written there. And we can just change this one here to Hello World. Hello World or Hello World example app. And if we just building the project and running it again, you'll see. Oh, I didn't save. <laughs> you'll see that I failed in saving. And. Now you see Hello World example app in the title of the window. And what's interesting is here that we, um, or why we get in title is because we set the flag here be titled window. So this uh, w just sets the look and feel of the window, or the look basically of the window. And you we also set the B as a uh, controls for the controls in the window. Um, a little bit uh, theory uh, behind this in when you go to the B book and the B window you can see that there are some flags uh, or the B beside the title there's a look and feel uh, where you can set the look and feel of uh, your window 
first let me go to the window look and you can see there are some other looks that you can choose here be title window look is the one that we have but you can also change the look and feel by just uh, going in here and uh, saying be normal window be model subset window feel and so on you can set the feel different to the look which is also very interesting and of course we have the new normal be titled window look for our title window we have we can set a modal window which does not have a title for example the open and and, and uh, safe dialogs normally don't have a title or should not have a title we can set a b-board bordered window no title bar line border no resize console as you can see here there's also an explanation on the right uh, which uh, describes uh, what this option does now and you have the same not only for the field but also the window type as you can see here be titled window which is a window th this is the sa uh, same one that we're using here be titled window which is a combination of uh, look and feel just like be titled window look and be normal window feel so then there are some window flags like be not movable this is really in interesting if you want to create an, uh, a game for example you don't want to have a title you can just uh, say that I don't want a uh, uh, title, I don't want a bordered window, you can do to go to the yeah, window look basically, uh, you can set a feeling and you can set of course then also some other um, options like the be not movable so that the window is not movable uh, even if you want uh, it to move, uh, especially useful for games in full screen mode and so on, you can it make uh, you can make it not closable by key combinations like the Alt and uh, Q key, for example, and so on. So, and of course, uh, last but not least, the window workspaces you can set uh, the application to run only on the current workspace or to start up on the current workspace or on all workspaces if you want to. So this is the theory behind uh, those flags basically that you can set here to create a new B window. I think this is uh, the same uh, as in JAP where you can also set and use those flags. Then I think we would, this is uh, I think the best time to start uh, writing something, uh, a good code. So the first thing that you might experience a uh, difference to, to the normal basic is that you have to declare types. This is a thing that you saw back in the app CVP as I uh, showed you that you have to create an instance of uh, the app itself, for example, the app CVP. So uh, you have to create an instance of the app class itself uh, to run it. And this is basically what you need to do also for uh, some other objects. Like for example, we want to add a string list view. I think it's called that way. Let's go back to the bbook and search for something with string. So we want an B string view. This is how it's called. B string view. Uh, click on this. This will just simply, as it, as it tells you, it will just create an, a new string box where you can put a string in there. And this is especially useful for our Hello World um, application. What we need to do first is just, uh, of course, include first of all the string view. So let me just copy this, go to our source code and uh, for including we saw that our window, our B window, or basic window, uh, header file for B window that we needed is included in the, in the header file. So we will include our B string view also in here. So let me just include the string view in here and then if we are in our header we can just um, create a new variable uh, for our b string view just by typing in b string view and then the name of the uh, of our new b string view text uh, a hello text for example save our header file and then we can use this hello text as a variable basically because we created uh, it he in here in our private section of our main window header file so we will go into the body of our main window as you can see out indent is working fine in our editor here and we just create a hello text as new b string view then we have to take a look at our bbook in here. Uh, what I tend to do is just copying the uh, constructor 
from my bbook and pasting it in the code itself and then commented it out so that I don't have to switch between those workspaces again and again. Uh, text comment. Now we have comment in here. And then you can see you can use this uh, to construct your B string view. Those are the comments. They are marked uh, in green as you can see here. So syntax highlighting is working great. So the first argument it takes is brect. So we will take a brect. Uh, as you can see here we have uh, it's our window is 500 by 300 uh, big so um, where do we want to put our b rec or our b string view in our window so the best way b would be the middle so uh, 400 divided by 2 and and minus hello world <laughs> is um yeah I think that's one hundred and one hundred eighty and then the y um coordinates should be one hundred and fifty now let's let's make it one hundred and forty because our string is a little bit has of course also a size about ten pixels or something like this uh, depending on our font size I think ten or twelve pixels it is and then we have uh, to set an uh, so this is the top left corner of our b string view basically and we have to set an mm, uh, bottom right corner as well so let me set this uh, to uh, 280 and 160 I think this should be fine then the next thing that we we have to give this p string view a name let's call it hello text and uh, then the text itself and the text itself will be hello world and then we can use the uh, some of the uh, flags again a resizing flag uh, you don't need to know what what it is right now currently I guess just for resizing a flag for resizing how our object will behave when resizing and the B will draw uh, that <laughs> that it will actually draw then uh, yeah don't forget the semicolon at the end of every line this is also very important uh, every command line basically uh, not the constructor line as, as you can see here it does not have a semicolon but as you can see here uh, every line instead has um, uh, instead of the the, the uh, lines that open up uh, brackets have a semicolon. So now what we uh, what we now created is uh, just simply a new B string called hello text, but it's just created. It's not added to the window itself. So we have to add it to the window by just uh, executing the application add chi uh, the the method add child of the main window basically, and then put in in here hello text. Don't forget the semicolon, and I guess everything is right now. Let me just save it, of course, and then build it. And with a little luck, it should work. Yes, no errors. So if I click on build and run, you will see our text, hello world. Ah, it's not, not in the middle, uh, <laughs> as you can see here. So my math was not so good. I can of course then change the coordinates here, uh, 140, uh, 120, something like this, making the text field a little bit, uh, the string view a little bit bigger. As you can see here, it's uh, probably the middle <laughs> of the screen. So this is basically our first Hello World ac uh, example application, and yeah, this is basically everything for the screencast. Uh, if you want to experiment a little bit with other widgets, you can go to the interface kit documentation of the bbook and play with some other stuff like, for example, an bview to create a bview. 
um, B view is basically something like a B window but without all the borders and so on where you can put other widgets on it and the interesting thing about the B view I think um, if you don't want this wide um, background of your application in the background <laughs> so as you can see here we have a wide background and uh, the uh, things that we put on our um, background basically on, uh, in our B window have an, a normal background basically so if you want to have a uh, normal background for all the widgets uh, in your uh, window you can create a B view which has the same size as the uh, window itself and then uh, set the color to, to be the normal background color and then the app should look a lot more familiar. There you can uh, experiment with, you can experiment with other stuff like the B button it's and so on. And this is also a thing that we will do in the last in the next uh, screencast. Uh, we will create a B button which will then just uh, put up a nice uh, text message um, and we will use some other um, yeah, header files, some other uh, cool stuff from Heiko in there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this screencast, hope you understand everything uh, well. Uh, I'm not digging too much into the theory, I hope. And uh, yeah, this is everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, thanks for watching.